The most easiest method to measure the dispersion is range. We have a small class with six students. These are their marks. 6, 34, 45, 54, 66 and 94. So what is range? Range is 94 minus 6. You subtract the smallest value from the largest value equals 88. So we have a range of 88 in this distribution. Or else you can write this as 6 to 94 is the range. But look at here. Even though we say that range is 6 and 94, you can identify that 6 and 94, two values are far away from the other students. All other students are around 30 to 70 margin. But these two students, we call that the far away numbers as outliers. 94 and 6 are outliers because of that, we overestimated the range. Even though we say that 88, only two students are there as outliers. To avoid that, there is another measure we call that interquartile range. In the interquartile range, we draw the total distribution. You know that what is the middle value? Middle value is median. We divide the total distribution into 100 parts. Like that we divide the distribution into 100 parts and one part is named known as centile. So here we have 50th centile. In 50th centile we have median. We call this as second quartile. In a distribution second quartile is situated in 50th centile that is the median. In range we measure the dispersion using the smallest value and the largest value and we came to know that if the smallest value and largest value are outliers we overestimate the distribution to avoid that we have another quartile that is first quartile and third quartile at the position of 25th centile and 75th centile so this is first quartile we named as q1 the third quartile we name as Q3 and the second quartile is Q2. So what is interquartile range? Interquartile range YQR equals Q3 minus Q1. Instead of telling the smallest value and the largest value, we go by the 75th value and 25th value. So if a distribution has many outliers, it is important to tell, describe the distribution using interquartile range. What are the problems associated with range and interquartile range? We came to know that central tendencies alone is not good to describe about a distribution. So we introduced range and interquartile range. But to describe distribution of many values, assume that there are 100 values, to describe the distribution of 100 values, we use only two values here, the largest and smallest value in range. In interquartile range, we use the third quartile and the first quartile to describe the dispersion or distribution of 100 values. It may not truly represent the total dispersion. So we need a measure to describe dispersion by including all the values on distribution. So let's take an example. 